Okay, 2006 plus uh, Ford F-150 with 9.75 inch rear end. And it has that classic rear end shutter. Well, I'm doing mine. Alright, basically, obviously you jack it up, you get it on the jacks, you take off the wheels, take off the brakes that we got access to the axles, lift it up and drain it. So then what we're going to do is we're going to pop this bolt loose, pull this pin out, and then we can get at the C-clips so we can push the axles out the way. Then it's these four bolts, and this whole thing just pops out. Okay, well take a look at this. This actually allows you to walk the spider gears by yourself. That way this doesn't really come off. It just helps keep it on there. Actually, I need to... Okay, now. Ah, there. Well, it's backwards, but I don't care. Regardless, we got everything out the middle. Basically, you just do that guy over there, and you come up here, and you just turn the axle. And what it is is because this guy's pushed out there, this guy will lock against the sidewall, and then these two middle ones will just walk themselves out. That way, you can slowly grab everything, keep all the races with all the gears. Like there they are right there. This one. I was able to keep the race with it. This one too. I got matching gear, and now they're all sided up because I've got it all written up here how it goes. I'm just gonna put this all in a box after I dry it off a little bit. And tomorrow you get to see my homemade tool to actually compress these bastards. Okay, so here basically is the tool that I made. It's just a bunch of uh, it's bolt, bunch of washers and stuff. Basically, I got this size just because. It fits around these guys, which are longer on the, the head because it's three head, recess head. So this doesn't move. Actually, sits nice and sturdy. And then this one will fit like that. And then you can just basically press them apart by adjusting this screw outward. And another reason why I went on ahead and got the recessed head one is because that way more of the, uh, the axle shaft can actually get into the, uh, the gear itself. Um, yeah, pretty much it. I lost one of these guys, so I'm probably going to try and find another washer to go in between there, so this, this will be steady inside here as well. Okay, well, I cleaned these guys off, marked them left and right, and took them with me to the store so I can get the stuff for my tool. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this off, re -lube it real quick. It's going to go right back down like that, and then I'm going to pick a new clutch, toss a new clutch on, go just... As I go across, I'm just going to keep on going, just flipping. So, that's about it. Okay, everything is back in place. And you can see my little homemade tool right there to compress these two guys. I'm not going to lie, I had to bottom this thing out to get these guys in enough to where the little washers wouldn't come off. And even then, I had to take one and kind of like pound it back in place. Not only that, you have to either hold there or there while your friend with the longest breaker bar in the world can overcome the spring pressure in order to walk these guys back in. That's about all I'm going to say. Okay, this is the simplified version of the tool. It's the only way I can get it to actually fit. Um, these two still fit in inside the inner races of these guys. Basically I just fed this up and then which is really hard to do with one hand. Just kind of like that. Well, and then it fell out. But anyway, if you had two hands, you'd put this in then. Bring that over, and while you're holding the one nut, just spin the other one with your hands until it has enough tension on it. And then you just crank on both of them. Okay, guys. So I guess in review, I got the truck on the ground, got it filled up with the, the fluid and the friction modifier. I used the XL3 friction modifier. Um, I only used three quarts of... 75W140 full synth uh, gear oil, so I'm assuming the 5.5 that I found online was for pints instead of quartz. Um, another thing, like I said, here was the tool again. You know, it's kind of hard to slip in there. I mean, this is basically a two and a half inch bolt. It's got half inch by 13 nuts and two 5 8 inch washers. I had all the extra stuff just in case I needed it, but I couldn't even put it in there. I'm going to hit all this with a little bit of... Um, 
Brake parts cleaner, dry it off, throw it in the bag, take it all back and get my money back. And do the same for the extra two quarts of uh, fluid I have over there. Now, this is what happens when the factory doesn't do it right from the beginning. You end up with all kinds of horror. Okay, so as I was saying before the battery died on me abruptly, this is a glazed or burnt clutch disc. And pretty much every single one of mine are burnt. This one, you can see where it's starting to burn. Starting to burn, just not completely through. Hell, it even got hot enough to warp a couple of the damn block plates. Either that or that's just material coming off of one or the other. And it was starting to burn into that one. Yeah, burnt. Burnt block plate. Um, okay, now. Oh, God, yeah, my bench is messy and it's really hot outside. Um, took me three days, mainly because it was raining in the afternoon, so I only got to work on it for about three hours a day. And then, with my little tool that I made, didn't realize I basically had to bottom it out in order to actually get the uh, clutch packs compressed enough to where I could get the gears all the way in without having all kinds of issues. Even then it was like you had to have a long, long big breaker bar. But it still went in in like five seconds versus four hours fighting it. Um, didn't actually take the differential out of the rear end because I had realized just how hard they put those things in there. I didn't feel like dealing with all that crap. Um, so yeah, but if in case you did pop those four bolts loose at 75 took foot pounds to put the four bearing caps back in properly. Um, I can't really think of much else. Um, camera's fogging up. But yeah, I mean, took it around, block, did my S pattern and everything. I mean, the second I left the driveway, it pretty much acted normal. So yay, there it is, all done. Um, that's about it.